What is up guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys the JBL Sound Boost mod. It is a mod that I picked up a, a day or two ago, it just came in from Amazon. I was able to get a really good price on it, because I didn't feel like uh, paying the full retail price, which is $79.99, so I got a pretty good deal for it. It was used, but this is what it looks like. It's in pretty good condition, you see you have your 16 pin connector in the, on the front back, so you can connect it to the back of the phone. It's kind of thick, but you get a stand with it, which is pretty cool. And this is my review for the Moto JBL Sound Boost mod. I hope you guys like it. Let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with the setup and pl putting it into the back of your Moto phone. And as you guys can see, this is my Moto Z Play, and I'm going to show you guys how to install it. You first have to take off your case that you have or your Moto shell that it comes with. It, all Moto Z plays come with a free uh, case for it. So you just pop that out. And then in the next step would be uh, just simply putting your phone, as I will do right now, putting your phone in the mod and just simply connecting it together. It is really basic, something really easy to do. It's got magnets, that's why it's really easy to connect. And you're not gonna have any problems because um, it's uh, pretty simple. You're, it's just a simple process. And as you guys can see, simple one, two, three, and click. It's in there now. It'll give you a notification there that your Moto Mod is connected with the battery life of it also, as you guys can see there. And I'm just going to be doing a couple tests on the Moto Mod. Uh, a couple neat features that you get is that on your uh, notifications, you can see the battery life of your Moto Mod. I think it does this for every single Moto Mod out there, but as you guys can see, it's fully charged at 100%. And let me show you how it looks with the kickstand on. Okay, so before we start the first uh, sound test, I am warning you guys that it may get a little loud, so please turn down your volume, just in case if it's too loud, and then slowly adjust it up. But without further ado, let's get started with the sound test. Okay, well that concludes the test without the Moto Mod. So now let's just pop in the Moto Mod and see how much of a difference it makes. As you guys can see, the average was around 86 and the highest was 90. Overall, not that bad. It said that it was like a motorcycle or something like that. Not not too loud. You, These external speakers are not that good, but they're fine. And now let's try it in with the Moto Mod and let's see what the difference is.
so according to the app the moto mod added around 15 decibels which is pretty good because instead of sounding like a motorcycle it now sounded like a diesel truck which is pretty loud and i know the app is not entirely accurate but it's the best i could do and next we're going to be doing uh showing you how it would sound it watching netflix or something any tv steps. show It's the same fruit sitting on the plates in front of you. Watch out for that pineapple. Look at this, please. And now for our last gift to you. Shut up and fix my house. <laughs> we don't know him. I'm going to ask for a volunteer from the audience. So the audio doesn't do it justice, but you can really, really feel it. Like, trust me, it's really good. When you're playing games, like when I was playing this game Stack, it is really loud you can feel it on your back the only complaint that i have is that it is facing outwards so it's not hitting you directly it's facing away so if you're playing games it kind of goes away from you but it's not that bad you kind of feel like it's surround sound which is pretty good as you guys can see it sounds pretty good on the stack game and then i'm going to show you guys how it sounds on asphalt 8 which is another great game to play with your uh, moto mod Alright, as you guys can see, it is pretty good, pretty loud. Uh, it's good for gaming. You're not going to have any troubles while gaming. It's going to be an enjoyable experience. I personally really like it. And I wouldn't pay 80 bucks for it. But if you could find it on eBay or anywhere else uh, for used and cheaper, I definitely would recommend it now that the summer is coming around. You can take this out to the pool, out by the outside of the pool because you can't put it in it's not waterproof but you can't have it out on the side and just uh blast your music so everyone can hear it in the pool it's pretty cool and next we're going to talk about the pros and cons of the moto mod so let's get into that all right guys so this is coming to an end some of the pros of the moto mod are great for gaming it really packs a punch it is awesome for gatherings when you're with a group of people at a party. And when you're watching a movie, it is way better than just using the regular uh, speakers that come with the phone. It's like a greater experience compared to just the normal speakers. Some of the cons that I did face is that it is facing backwards. So it's not really hitting you. It's hitting away from you, which kind of sucks. And another one would be the price, which is $79.99, as I said in the beginning of the video. Pretty pricey for just like a speaker. And also the battery life is not that good. In my testing, it was around you five minutes of music playback drained it 2%, which is kind of sad. And I don't think it would reach the 10 hours that it claims. The last con would be the thickness of it. It's uh, You wouldn't want to have this in your pocket the whole day. So that concludes uh, the Moto JBL Sound Boost Mod video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe, like the video, and comment down what you guys would have liked to see next. On Tuesday, I will be doing a live stream of the OnePlus 5 launch if I can get it to work. And I will do it, be doing a bunch of OnePlus 5 videos if I can get it in time. So I'll see you guys in the next one.